Instant messaging should be private and secure. When you share concerns of your health with your friend, that information shouldn't be used by health insurers or big pharma to price gouge you at the nearest opportunity. And your social graph doesn't belong in the hands of political campaigners trying to manipulate your voting decisions. But that's exactly what's happening when you trust companies like Facebook, Apple or Google with the content and metadata of your messages. To have a truly private conversation online, your messaging app would have to meet several requirements. Its messaging protocol has to be built in such a way that you and your contacts are the only people that can access your conversations. This has to include their content as well as the metadata. While apps like iMessage and WhatsApp are end-to-end -end encrypted, they only protect the content. All of your metadata is exposed in plain text. The protocol and the app have to be open source. The biggest takeaway from the NSA leaks was that all proprietary software has potentially secret backdoor for the government mass surveillance. Security experts cannot independently audit the code, and we have to blindly trust the developers' words they aren't spying on us. Encryption in the app has to be seamless and requiring no user interaction. Even the most secure app is only as secure as its weakest link. And in the tech world, that weakest link is humans. We have a short attention span, bad memory and are prone to make horrible mistakes. That is why the most secure messenger cannot just be packed with the strongest security features. It also has to be as user-friendly as possible so that users won't compromise their own security through human error. Meeting all of these requirements has been the mission of many secure messengers. The most hopeful projects are Briar and Element, and they both succeed in their own extent. But the best security researchers in the world agree that Signal offers the strongest protection at the highest level of user-friendliness with no security compromises. With the best end-to-end -end encryption protocol out there, Signal is just as easy to install and use as WhatsApp. All you need is a phone, a phone number, and that's it. With Signal, you'll never miss out on any important messaging feature. The app supports voice and video calls, group chats, file sharing, disappearing messages, voice recording, and all of that is protected with end-to-end -end encryption. Unlike WhatsApp, Signal doesn't have access to your metadata, as it is either encrypted with a key stored on your device or completely absent from Signal's servers. The choice is yours. With WhatsApp, Facebook has a real-time access to your social graph, which lets Facebook monitor and monetize who you talk to, how long, what time and date, etc. Actually, there is no other app out there that also encrypts your metadata to this extent. Usually, apps only encrypt your data in transit, but once it's on their servers, they can read it in plain text. So even messengers that provide end-to-end -end encryption like iMessage or Telegram or WhatsApp expose your metadata to advertisers, hackers and government surveillance. And Signal never stores your messages in the cloud, even if they are encrypted. They're only stored on your device for as long as you don't delete them. Signal is a free and open source software. Security experts from around the world are constantly looking at its code to fix bugs and find ways to make it even more secure. The source code of WhatsApp is a proprietary secret, so you have to trust WhatsApp's word they aren't spying on you or letting the NSA access your data. While WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, Signal is a non-profit and there is no big data company behind it. This is important because while both Signal and WhatsApp offer strong end-to-end -end encryption, WhatsApp shares your metadata with Facebook, even if you don't have a Facebook account. Big tech companies have a fiduciary responsibility to their shareholders to perpetually make them more money. Apple, Google, Facebook or Microsoft will eventually have to find more invasive ways to monetize their platforms. Signal has no strings attached and their developers live off generous donations. The only issue some people have with Signal is that it's using a phone number to register an account. In most cases, your phone number is tied to your real-life identity, either through your location or the payment method you use to buy a SIM card with. In many countries, you also have to provide a government ID before obtaining a new phone number. This means that most people won't be able to create a Signal account anonymously and advanced attackers can target a Signal user through their phone number. For some threat models, this makes 
the use of Signal unacceptable? While it is true that a telecommunications provider or the government could monitor who is using Signal, they would still have to dedicate significant amount of resources to attack devices of individual users. Signal has proven to be so secure that the only way it was possible to compromise Signal chats was by exploiting a vulnerability in Android or iOS operating systems rather than the Signal app. Another dimension of using a phone number to register is that if you want to add new contacts, you have to share your phone number with them and let Apple and Google collect your Signal contact list. Currently, Signal developers are working on a feature where you'll be able to store your contacts on Signal's servers encrypted with your PIN code. Once fully implemented, you'll still have to register with a phone number, but you'll be able to create a pseudonym to share with your contacts instead of your phone number. And rather than giving Google and Apple access into your Signal address book, the Signal app will sandbox all its metadata, including your contacts or app settings within itself. Initially, this new pin feature with storing metadata in the cloud incited some non-violent backlash because every security expert hates cloud storage. But as long as you create a strong pin or passcode, no one will be able to access your encrypted metadata even when seized. And if you are really worried about cloud backups, Signal allows you to disable it in the settings. As I said before, Signal has plenty of features that make the app extremely useful, but some of my most favorite ones are actually invisible to a general user. For instance, Signal automatically erases all metadata from your photos before you send them to anyone. This includes your stored photos as well as the ones taken with the Signal's built-in camera. That way, you won't accidentally reveal your location to your contacts. Speaking of the camera app, you can also use it to blur faces or any areas to prevent sharing sensitive information. You can also resize your picture, draw over, type text, use flash, or add these silly little stickers. And perhaps the most amazing feature is disappearing messages. With a simple tweak, you can decide how long each message will stay on your and your contacts devices. Once they read the message, it will self-destruct anywhere from 5 seconds all the way up to 1 week. This feature is truly amazing because even if someone was to get a hold on your unlocked phone, they still wouldn't get access to your signal messages. In Signal's privacy settings, you can further strengthen your security by toggling some settings. Incognito keyboard, screen security and registration lock are the top recommended ones. With the registration lock, you can mitigate the threat of someone registering with your phone number to intercept your messages by locking your phone number with Signal's PIN. When it comes to your PIN code, you can either choose a digit-only PIN or a proper alphanumeric passcode. There is no cap on how long this PIN can be, so take advantage of creating a strong and memorable passphrase. Signal will automatically remind you to verify your PIN, but if this becomes too annoying, you can just turn it off. Just make sure you remember your PIN in case you'll want to register your account on a new install and keep all your contacts and settings. As long as you're on the same device installation, you can always change your PIN without even remembering it. There is really no excuse not to use Signal. Your conversations and social graph are invaluable and nobody should be allowed to exploit or profit off of them. To convert your friends to Signal, just send them a text message straight from Signal with a link to download it on their device. Signal works on all Android and iOS devices and it even offers a desktop version for Linux, Mac and Windows. Enjoy your private conversations and if you like what I do, please consider supporting my channel on Patreon or through channel memberships as I currently have no sponsors or affiliations and YouTube ad money sucks. Thank you for watching.